सदाशिव सरंभां शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ए भक्ता हु वर्शिप द लॉर्ड कैन शो हिस आर हर डिवोशन इन मेनी वेज इन और पुराणास एज अ सैंपल दे हैव इन्यूमरेटेड नवविधा भक्तिस नाइन टाइप्स ऑफ डिवोशन दिस नाइन टाइप्स ऑफ डिवोशन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड थ्रू ए श्लोका दैट श्लोका रैन रन्स लाइक दिस श्रवणम कीर्तनम विष्णो हो स्मरण पाद सेवनम अर्चनम वंदनम दास्यम सख्यम आत्मनिवेदनम सो ऑल नाइन टाइप्स ऑफ भक्ति वी कैन सी इन दिस श्लोका फर्स्ट वन इज श्रवणम श्रवणम मीन्स ए भक्ता who shows his devotion to the lord <coughs> through listening his glories shravanam shravanam means listening just listening through the glories of the lord that bhakta shows his expresses his devotion towards the lord shravanam number 2 is कीर्तनम कीर्तन मीन्स प्रेजिंग ग्लोरीफाइंग ग्लोरीफाइंग द ग्रेटने ऑफ द लॉर्ड प्रेजिंग द ग्रेटने ऑफ द लॉर्ड थ्रू सम कीर्तना दट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड कीर्तन त्यागराज कीर्तन कीर्तन पड़े चलो कीर्तना मीन्स वाट प्रेजिंग दिस कीर्तना कैन बी इन ए फॉर्म ऑफ सॉन्ग्स और श्लोका इन वर्स फॉर्म्स और इन ए सॉन्ग फॉर्म ऑलसो वेन इट इज इन श्लोका फॉर्म इट इज कॉल्ड स्तुति स्तोत्र वेन इट इज इन ए सॉन्ग मीन्स पल्लवी अनुपल्लवी चरण If it is like that, it is a called song, kirtana. Both are come under prayer only. Prarthana. Prarthana means prayer. Prayer in the form of a song or in the form of a shloka. Stotram, stuti. Stotram, stuti also means praising, glorifying the Lord. That is called kirtanam. Then the third one is called smaranam. Vishnu who means of that Lord, Vishnu of that Lord Vishnu. You can take your ista devata, either Shiva or Devi or any Lord. Smaranam means remembering the Lord all the time. Smaranam means remembrance, smriti. remembering the lord this comes under manasa bhakti smaranam comes under manasa bhakti kirtanam comes under vachaka bhakti shravanam comes under kayaka listening then the fourth one is pada sevanam pada means you know feet seva means serving 
at the Lord feet, worshipping the feet of the Lord. Pada Sevanam. This Pada Sevanam you can perform either physically or mentally also. Manasa Puja. Pada Seva you can do physically also, mentally also. Number five is Archanam. Archana means offering the flowers or Abhisheka Dravyam, just we saw there in the temple. That is called Archana, with flowers, with Abhisheka Dravyams. Archana, a devotee can show his Bhakti, devotion. Then the sixth one is Vandanam. Vandanam means saluting the Lord, Namaskara. There are many varieties of namaskaras, which is traditional namaskara is Sashtanga namaskara that is also comes under vandanam. And just joining the palms is also called vandanam or bending, bowing your head is also called vandanam. So you show your devotion to the Lord, vandanam. Then the seventh one is called dasyam, dasyam means serving the Lord. You show your devotion. Lord, in front of Lord you are a servant. You feel like that you are serving the Lord. Dasya Bhavana. Service, no? doing. No? Like that you show the Bhakti. Number eight is Sakyam. Sakya means friend. You look at the Lord as a friend. Sakya Bhava. Sakya Bhava Bhakti. This is also mental level. Sakyam is also a mental level. And Dasyam, Vandanam, Archanam, both either physical or mental level. But whereas Sakyam totally at the mental level, Manasika. And the final one is ninth one, Atma Nivedanam. Giving oneself to the Lord. Trikarana Shuddhi. Manasa, Vacha, Karmana, surrendering totally to the Lord. Atma Nivedanam. Giving oneself to the Lord. How one can give up? oneself to the Lord. That is a big subject. We need not go into that. This much is enough. Okay. Atmani Vedanam. This is the way of devotion bhaktas shows. Navavidha Bhakti. And now here among these nine types of devotions one is that Kirtanam. So, praising the Lord's glories. Like uh, many devotees, they have written so many songs, so many shlokas, so many stotrams, plenty of stotrams you all of you know by heart also. So, like that, here we are going to see that stotram, stuti, upon the Goddess Saraswati. A stotram that which contains eight verses. It is called Ashtakam. A stotram which contains five verses is called Panchakam. Stotra Panchakam. If a stotram contains six verses is called Shatkam. Shat means six. A stotram contains eight verses, is called Ashtakam. This Ashtakam, eight verses upon whom? Saraswati. But the law, here the author uniquely gives the name, not Saraswati Ashtakam, but Kamalaja Daita Ashtakam. Satchidananda Shivabhinava Drasimha Bharati. Or of this uh, Ashtakam is one of the Shankaracharya of Shringeri Math here, which 
Puchimatu we saw in the morning. One of the Acharya of Shringeri Mat only has written this Ashtakam. So the Kamalaja Daita next point is what is the meaning of Kamalaja Daita? The title of this Shatkam, Ashtakam. Before going to that word to word meaning, few more points we have to see. What is the purpose of prayer? This is a prarthana in the form of a stotram. We are seeking the blessings of the goddess Saraswati. It is a prarthana or prayer. Why a bhakta does the prayer? Purpose can be given in many ways. We will see those benefits, you know, purpose of the prayer. The first purpose is to seek the blessings of the Lord. That is the first purpose. We seek the blessings of the Lord. The second purpose of the prayer is to get mental strength in distress. Through prayer, we can draw a lot of mental strength, internal strength, when we are in distress. That time only all stotrams, shlokams, all will remember and books we take out. <laughs> we start chanting you know, in distress. So that time the devotee will get a lot of mental strength. Then the third purpose is to accomplish the Chaturvidha Purushartha. To accomplish or to achieve or to gain Chaturvidha Purushartha means four Purusharthas, human goals. One can attain four human goals in one's life by chanting, by praying to the Lord, so that prayer will help dharma, artha, kama, moksha. If you want money, you can pray. If you want to fulfill your desires, you can pray. If you want punya, you can start praising the Lord. If you want moksha also, like us, we all of us want moksha, therefore we are seeking the blessings of the Goddess. These are the benefits of the prayers. All benefits also may be there in one mind, Bhakta, or one one, they may, he may want only Vairagyam, sometimes that Bhakta want only Jnanam, sometimes Bhaktas want only money. Sometimes bhaktas want only punyam. Sometimes bhaktas want all put together. So therefore, the prayer is very, very important in one's life. We have to understand. That is the um, final conclusion. But prayer is very, very important for every sadhaka. That's why Many Acharyas wrote many prayers in the form of songs, in the form of shlokas. Now, since Saraswati, the Goddess, stands for knowledge, Jnanam, Jnana Shakti, who is Icha Shakti? Lakshmi Devi. Lakshmi Devi is the Kriya Shakti. And uh, is the Icha Shakti, Kriya Shakti is Parvati. Then who left out Saraswati Jnana Shakti. So all of us want self knowledge, Atma Jnanam, Brahma Jnanam. Goddess Saraswati represents Atma Jnanam, Jnanadhi Devi, you know, Adhishtanam of Jnanam. Therefore, 
the saraswati prayer is very very important relevant for all people all students especially vedantic students देरफोर द ज्ञान प्राप्यर्थम् ज्ञान निष्ठा प्राप्यर्थम् प्रार्थना दैट्टू सरस्वती प्रार्थना सो लेट हर ब्लेसिंग्स शोवर अनस लेट अवर इंटेलेक्ट्स ब्लूम विथ सेल्फ नॉलेज सो दिस इज़ द राइट प्लेस द श्रृंगेरी वेर शारदा माता is residing and uh, established by that Adi Shankara Acharya. This is the auspicious place. Here we seek her blessings to get that jnana prapti, jnana nishtha. Now we come to the next, uh, the title meaning Kamalaja Daita. The title Kamala means lotus. Ja means the one who is born from the lotus. Who born from the lotus? Brahma ji. Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma came no, from that lotus. Kamalaja. No, no, Brahma ji. Daita means beloved. Saraswati. Goddess Saraswati is one who is beloved, no? dear to Lord Brahma, who born from the lotus. Kamalaja Daita. Daita means beloved, who is beloved or dear. The wife of Brahma Ji, Saraswati Devi. Oh, Mother Saraswati, you are that beloved one. Who born from the lotus in a Kamalaja Daita? So great Acharyas are all put like this, make us to study like this, you know. Otherwise, we won't study. Saraswati, who will study? Kamalaja Daita, na? Oh, what is there? Something. Okay. Kamalaja Daita Ashtakam. Now the title is clear. Why prayer? What for? What is Bhakti? Now we enter into the <coughs> proper shloka. We will read that first shloka. Repeat after me. Shringakshma bhrinni vase shuka mukha munibhi sevya manangri padme Swanga chaya vidhutam brutakara surara dvahane vaksavitrim. Shamgushrinathamukhyamaravaranikarair modataf pujyamane. Vidyam Shuddham Cha Buddhim Kamala Jadayite Satvaram Dehi Mahyam Now we will look into the fourth line first. He Kamala Jadayite Sambodhana Acharya is addressing the Goddess, O Mother Kamalaja Daita. Kamalaja Daite. Mahyam Dehi. Mahyam means to me. Dehi means give. A give to me. Mahyam Dehi. Mahyam is Chaturthi Vibhakti, fourth case, Sampradani Chaturthi. When the giving comes, it always in the fourth case. Mahyam Dehi. Dehi is Dadhatoho. 
लोट प्लीज गिव टू मी मह्यम देहि हे कमलज दयिते प्लीज गिव टू मी व्हाट शुद्धां बुद्धिं शुद्धां विद्यां प्लीज गिव टू मी द प्योर इंटेलेक्ट एन इंटेलेक्ट व्हिच इज प्योर विदाउट एनी डिस्ट्रैक्शंस विदाउट एनी ना कोलेस्ट्रॉल इंटेलेक्चुअल कोलेस्ट्रॉल Swami Paramartha Nandaji says all the time. So many cholesterols, one more extra is there, that is intellectual cholesterol problem. A intellect which is having humility, a person who is having humility, he is the first eligibility of Vedanta study. So therefore, pure intellect in the sense an intellect that which has got a sensitive grasping capacity restoring capacity without any distraction one hour means one hour two hours means two hours undistracted mind or intellect and the pure intellect without any doubts no? not doubting the nature, not cornering the teacher, <laughs> not with that intention I should study, but I should study with the full of devotion and humility, that intellect, honest, that intellect which is honest, intellectual honesty, purity, intellectual purity, subtlety, so many ways we can explain about this, uh, you know, Shuddhi buddhi na. Shuddhi buddhi prade devi na. There is a shloka also. Shuddhi buddhi na. That alone is this. Because that pure intellect alone helps the person to receive the knowledge and to assimilate the knowledge. Therefore, the author points out here Shuddham buddhim. Once I got that intellect, pure intellect alone, in that alone, Shuddham Vidyam, pure knowledge. The pure intellect is not sufficient. A pure intellect with pure knowledge. That means what? There is a possibility of impure knowledge also. <laughs> pure knowledge. A knowledge without any defect, defect-free knowledge, unnegatable knowledge, defect-free knowledge, truth at all times, you know, at all periods of times it must be the truth, <laughs> there is no ultimate than that, that knowledge is the highest, supermost knowledge is the Shuddham Vidyam. Samshaya Rahita Jnanam Manchalalam Doubt free knowledge Pure knowledge Pure intellect then pure knowledge Mother please bless me When? Not next Janma Satvaram Immediately here itself in this sadhana camp itself Let me get fully I don't want to postpone I cannot tolerate if you postpone <laughs> I am in a hurry why I am in a hurry? Because I am always listening from my Swamini. Yippiravi tappinal, yippiravi vaikumo. Therefore, I am in a hurry. That is why the Bhakta always wants Satvaram. Immediately. Soon. Satvaram Mahyam Dehi. What type of mother you are, he is praising now. All are adjectives, visheshanams from the first line. Oh mother, you are not an ordinary mother, ordinary goddess. You are the greatest. The visheshanams he gives from the first line onwards, you see. Shringakshma bhrit nivase. What are your characteristics? How glorious your nature is? 
your Swarupam. Other says, Shrungakshmabrit means Shrunga means mountain. Shrunga Giri is called alone, alone Shrungeri here. Shrunga Giri. Kshma means earth. Vrit means the one who holds, one who supports. Generally, we know the earth, Mother Earth is supporting the mountains. This is generally our concept. But in Puranas, ancient Puranas, they say mountains are only supporting the earth. Mountains are only supporting the earth. And the Shringakshma Bhrit. That mountain Shringagiri, which is holding, supporting the Mother Earth. Shringakshma Bhrit. So Shringagiri is here. That Shringagiri, which holds, supports the earth. Shringakshma Bhrit. You are the Mother Goddess Nivase. Who is residing in this Shringagiri place? Shringakshmabhran Nivase. This is the first adjective. You are such a great mother. Shringakshmabhran Nivase, O mother, please bless me. Give me this pure knowledge, pure intellect. Not only that, number two. Another Visheshanam. Shuka Mukha Muni Bhihi Sevya Manangri Padme. Shuka Muni means Shuka Muni. Great Maharshi, Shuka Maharshi. Muni Bhihi. Shuka Mukha means etc. etc. Shuka Maharshi etc. Shuka Mukha Muni Bhihi. By them, by those. Rishis like Shukka, Maharshi, etc. What they did? Sevya Manangri Padme. Whose lotus feet? Padme means lotus feet. Whose lotus feet was worshipped by? Sevya Manam means worshipped by. Angri Padma means lotus feet. Angri means Padam. Padma means lotus feet. Pada Padmam. Whose Pada Padmams were worshipped by those great Maharshis like Shuka, etc. Shuka Mukha Munibehi Sevya Manangri Padme. Rund Visheshanam Sovaripo. Such a mother, you bless me. The second line. <coughs> Your glory is not over. Still, I feel like to praise you. If you please her, she showers more blessings, you know. Some benefit you want to get. Swanga chaya vidhuta amrita kara surarad vahane. One compound. Okay, I am not going to give compounds here, samasam and all. Just a few words, just we will see. Swasya angam swangam. Who's Anga means organs of the body. Each angam, every part of the body of yours. Swasya angam, swangam. Swangasya chaya means kanti. Chaya means kanti, shining, effulgence. Deha kanti. <coughs> you are the shining one. Swanga chaya. Not ordinary shining effulgence. He is comparing that goddess effulgence with something else. You see that. Swanga chaya amritakara suraradvahane vidhuta. Conquered, excels. Greater than. Who? Amritakara. Amritakara means moon. The moon is one who is having showering Amritam all the time. So much Kanti that Chandra, no? moon has got. 
Amritakara Vidhuta. You have conquered in your beauty, in your shining, in your effulgence. You are greater than that moon. Moon is nothing in front of you. That's called Vidhuta. You have excelled. Then, not only that, not only moon, Surarad Vahane. Surarad and Indra. Surarajaha Vahanam means Airavatam. What is Airavatam? Indra's Vahanam, white elephant with tusks. Surarad means Indraha. Vahanam means vehicle. Indra's vehicle is Airavatam, white elephant. It's not like local white elephants. It is unique elephant. Only Swarga you can see that. Where from he got that Anna? At the time of Samudra Mathana. Hmm, he took that. So not an ordinary elephant. That much shining that elephant has got. Surarad Vahani. You are the one who conquered that effulgence of that elephant which is the Vahanam of Indra. See, poetic. No? So highly, highly poetic. But you can enjoy the beauty of that poetry, Sanskrit verses, how they are writing. Surarad Vahane Vidhuta. That Vahanam Vidhuta Vahane. Oh Mother, you are addressing Vahane. Not only that, Vak Savitri. <coughs> Vak means speech. Savitri means the generator. Savituhu iyam Savitri. Vachaha Savitri Vak Savitri. Vachaha Savitri Vak Savitri. Mother Goddess Saraswati is who is the generator of the speech. That's why her name is called Vani. The speech Vani. Therefore, where she lives, you know. Ah, Brahmaji's tongue. Lakshmi is staying in it. Vishnu's heart. Parvati, half of the body she took. She is went inside and sat. Saraswati there. So dear and near. Ideal couples. Okay. Ideal couple. So you cannot separate them. Wonderful. So Vak Savitri. <coughs> Second line over, such mother you are, I am worshipping you, please bless me. Third line, Shambhu Srinatha Mukhya Amara Vara Nikaraihi Modataha Pujya Mani. Shambhu means Lord Shiva. You are so great because even Shambhu Lord Shiva, Srinatha means Vishnu, Shambhu Cha, Srinatha Cha, Mukhya means etc. Shiva Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu and other Devatas also. Amaravar Shambhu Srinatha Mukhya, Amara means the immortal Devatas. Amaravara, group of devatas, Nikaraihi, by those devatas, group of devatas, Nikara means group, Nikaraihi means by those group of devatas, along with Lord Vishnu, Lord Shiva, all of them, Shambhu Srinatha Mukhya Amaravara Nikaraihi, Modataha Pujyamane. Modataha means Modena, with joy, with happiness. Modataha. <coughs> Pujyamani, Pujyadhatu, Pujyamani means one who is worshipped by group of devatas with joy. With limitless joy, Modataha Pujyamani. Such great mother you are. So, therefore, when you have to worship the Lord, you choose such a Lord who is having lot of hmm, 
powers, effulgence. So Saraswati Devi is the one, Adishthana Devata of knowledge. So, Shambhu Shrinatha Mukhya Maravara Nikarai Modataha Pujyamani. That's why Saraswati <coughs> represents four Vedas. Four Vedas represents knowledge. Therefore, we never see Vedas just like uh, um, words. We never see, let us say, book form, we never see. For us, Veda means Saraswati. Veda means God. Saraswati means knowledge. Veda means knowledge. Therefore, here concept, attitude towards the scriptures and the God is, is to be equal. Then only when I am a scriptural student, Vedantic student who study the scriptures, Gita, Upanishads, Brahma Sutra, all these are the essence, the crux of our whole Veda, four Vedas, a treasure house of knowledge. The culmination of the whole Veda is in what? Parama Purushartha Moksha. So unless if I see this uh, Veda, a um, treasure house of knowledge and the respect I develop, then my devotion towards it, my commitment, my interest, it prepares my mind towards that. Then I can get the whole benefit of that Shastra. So to develop that interest in us, to develop the commitment in us, for in every mumukshu, in the mind of every mumukshu, this type of uh, explanations, enumerating that Goddess helps us to go into deeper aspects of our studies. So this is not a casual, just a stotram or ashtakam. Don't take 11 to 12 classes, some ashtakam Swamini is teaching. Uh, that is the sleeping time exactly. Hmm? Let us uh, skip that class, don't take like that. This is the Ashtakam is uh, not an, it is exactly like a philosophy, Vedantic text we can take it. That much uh, essence we have. Therefore, any Ashtakam, any Shloka, how you look at it is important. A Shloka, a Stotra by itself, it is not either, uh, no, have inferior or superior quality. But how you look at it, what is your attitude, that is important. Therefore, <clears throat> O Mother, you bless me. Shringakshma, Brinivase, Shukamukha Munibhihi, Sevyamanangri Padmi. What it shows? You are already worshipped by such a great Rishis. You know? What am I here? Ordinary person. Already great Mahatmas, great Rishis, they have worshipped you throughout their life, blessed by you. Therefore, they got such a jnanam, knowledge. They became Mahagnanis by surrendering themselves to you. Therefore, I follow their footsteps. That's Shukha Muni Bhihi here. So, therefore, we have to remember them also. I do just Namaskara, not like that. Great Jnanis worshipped you and they attained the Nishtha, Jnana Nishtha. Why not me? that tells that. So not only that, your effulgence here represents here, not Sharira Kanti, <laughs> the Brahma Varches and Artham. We should not take it in a literal sense. Now I am going to a deeper aspect of uh, uh, thinking. No? Word to word meaning over. Now a Vedantic student, how he or she has to look at it. Saraswati Devi represents the Sattva Guna. Sattva Guna represents white, therefore she wears white patusari with some color border, with complexion, she is so beautiful, okay, wonderful. You have to go into the philosophical angle. Sattva Sanjayate Jnanam. Therefore students especially worshipping the Saraswati, we have to tell our children why Saraswati we are worshipping. Saraswati represents Sattva Guna, 
सत्व गुणा रिप्रेजेंट सात्विक नेचर सात्विक नेचर रिप्रेजेंट व्हाइट कलर दैट्स वे शी इज वेयरिंग व्हाइट कलर सिटिंग इन व्हाइट लोटस सिटिंग ऑन व्हाइट स्वाम सो देर फॉर ऑल दिस रिप्रेजेंट वॉट फाइनल इन सत्व गुण सत् लॉर्ड कृष्ण सेंड सत्वा संजाते ज्ञान ओ मदर यू आर द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ सत्व गुण देर फॉर गिव मी सत्व गुण हुच इज द क्वालिटी गुण थ्रू हुच आई कैन एटेन नॉलेज वाई दिस मच एम्फसिस अन सत्व गुण इफ रजो गुण एंड थमो गुण आर देर दट आलो रिक्वायर्ड क्रिया शक्ति इच्छा शक्ति आलो रिक्वायर्ड बट फॉर ए वेदांतिक स्टूडेंट हू इज सिटिंग हियर इन दिस क्लास प्रिडामेंटली इट मस्ट बी वाट सत्व गुण we have come here for a sadhana camp to prepare ourselves within short time no <laughs> to get that knowledge so sattva guna i have to invoke more here in these seven days sleeping must be very very less you know sleep tamo guna or friends you know? wherever tamo guna there is sleep either sleepy or sleeping a sleepy mind a sleeping person cannot grasp the teaching seven days seven times half of the sleep full sleep <laughs> nothing will work that's why i'm pointing out sattva guna all are not there in that shloka these are not our swanta sahityam swanta sahityam na it is for the sake of our own benefit i'm telling okay and the drowsiness should come down what to do eat less <laughs> so where from where we are going you see that's what sadhana i am not coming here to complete the verses and go no the real sadhana is that if i eat too much tamo guna is invoked and automatically the blood circulation is more to stomach <laughs> less to the head <laughs> then we'll get sleep and here lot of we ask them to prepare less karam less mechin all everything up everything less why na rajoguna should become down It's too much talking and become extrovert the whole campus from now onwards until we leave the campus no sound should come in the campus if it is coming means we are rajoguna we are invoking our rajasik nature ityarthaha therefore try to maintain the maunam showering blessings in idida invoking sattva guna more predominantly rajo guna to go to that much some other places to climb the stairs rajo guna is required eh? keep it minimum but no talking minimum talking very very important narada so i'll see how you are going to implement in this and all these days rajoguna is there no your voice will rise that is the sign indication if your voice volume rises means more than your requirement rajoguna you are invoking if you are invoking rajoguna means you are going away from sattva guna you are going away from sattva guna means you are going away from shastra careful and that so therefore eating less too much tiredness too much walking too much going here and there in the opportunity varave varadu vandito epadiyavadu ellame paathite oru vaati eh going here and there and you become tired and you feel sleepy and go on sleeping so again we don't get this opportunity what we have to do now saraswati devi represents sattva guna sattva guna alone gives knowledge therefore i have to invoke sattva guna for that rajo guna tamo guna has to be subservient therefore i have to eat less to make the tamo guna subservient i have to talk very much less and accommodate yourself silently and you maintain maunam people will understand don't talk and you see the atmosphere that time okay and uh, this is the inner depth we have to go more now 
the second shloka onwards we'll see in the next class so i have completed tamoguna subservient list rst srt ella venumo solanumo fourth chapter theva illaya nanikire srt rst trs rts idella gnapaga vechitaanna you are the beneficiary hmm, of this sadhana camp so therefore for that purpose the acharya tells oh mother bless me satvaram dehi how the satvaram will come how can i make it you know me real in my life na satvaram how it will come sometimes myself i say no it comes slowly it's not a revolution it is an evolution knowledge will take very slowly hmm? swamini you yourself said here am satvaram you are telling okay that is true but satvaram means uh, as early as possible for that what i have to do invoke satva guna so i have to tell you to invoke satva guna what i have to do nadi that's what i am informing you talking less minimize your talking reduce your volume unnecessary talking avoid only study study nididhyasana contemplation this uh, atmosphere is the right opportunity to do and we th- i have to thank the many mahatmas here see the chief paraphernalia here with uh, modern hmm, amenities all they have given to us so if i don't utilize this place this camp for my internal maturity i am the most uh, least beneficiary of this camp therefore because since it is the first class this is my responsibility i have to tell you because you all should get the full benefit of the sh- camp that's why we have to go a long process journey i request all of you maintain the serenity of the uh, camp it depends on each and every student the same shloka you repeatedly read again and again well upon that do nidhi dhyasana and uh, by the next class time this shloka should be by heart if you try without seeing i can read swamini this shloka but tomorrow 11 o'clock only next class so tomorrow two shlokas if i finish you have to buy her to two shlokas i am not telling compulsory i will not ask you but any you can use that for you know, revision repetition okay this is the meaning of the first verse vidyam shuddham shuddham vidyam shuddham buddhim satvaram dehi mahyam o mother please bless me with this uh, knowledge the pure knowledge pure intellect oh mother i seek your blessings so whole hearted prayer is required manasa vacha karmana prayer so with this i will conclude we'll see more in the next class <coughs> om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru 